The name of this video is Ira Krakow's Python 3 tutorial part 6, Functions. In this tutorial we're going to see how to write and call functions in Python 3 as well as how to pass arguments both by keyword and by value to a Python function. I will also introduce you to some of the neat features of the Blender 2.5 text editor as well as source code and color coding which can make coding Python scripts much easier. This video is based on the Python 3 function tutorial at the docs.python.org. So start Blender 2.5. We'll be using the most current version, Alpha 2. Go to the scripting setup. Up to now we've been using the console window in the lower left corner. In this video we'll be using the text editor window in the upper left corner. Position the cursor in the Python text editor window I pasted into the text editor window the code for the function to find all the Fibonacci numbers up to a given positive whole number n. This function is called n. The code is shown on the screen. When you paste the code in Blender's text editor, all the code is in black. There's no syntax highlighting or line numbering. To turn on line numbering, click the first icon on the left. This shows line numbers to the left of the text. This is a handy feature because when an error occurs, Python will tell you the line number at which the error occurred. Turn on syntax highlighting will highlight things like comments in green, keywords in purple, numeric constants in blue, and function definitions in gold. In Python 3, the def keyword precedes the function definition, in this case fib, fib, with n as the argument. You need the colon to define the end of the function definition. A comment in green tells us what the five function does. There's also a doc string intended to be a larger comment, which is highlighted in red. Doc strings start with three double quotes and end with three double quotes. The Fibonacci series starts with two variables, a and b, initialized to 0 and 1, respectively. n is the limiting number for the series. The next number is the sum of the previous two numbers. The print function prints b, the next number in the series, the and equals quote space quote argument to the print function adds a space to the end of the list. Finally, the print statement adds a blank line. To call the five function to find all the Fibonacci series that are less than 300, call the function as follows. FIB left parenthesis 300 right parenthesis. The run script button runs the active script. Where did the result print? Actually, it prints on the Blender console where all Blender messages print. This may change in future Blender releases, but that's where it prints now. In another text window, a simple modification to the code in the function 5.2 returns the result as a list instead of just printing it. Instead of printing the next Fibonacci number, it's added to a list. The entire list is returned instead of being printed. So the code is shown on the screen. The variable result is initialized to an empty list, the two square brackets. Instead of using the print function, the next Fibonacci number is appended to the list using the append method of the list object. Finally, the entire list is returned. In the call to 5.2, the result list object is assigned to the variable f100 and then printed. As a final example, I'd like to show you how to pass positional and keyword arguments to a function. Positional arguments are referenced by their position number in the argument list. Keyword arguments have the form keyword equals value. As a rule, you need to specify all the positional arguments. The keyword arguments default to their value and do not have to be specified. If you do specify them, the value you pass will be used. A simple example called cube volume will help clarify this. So functions def cube volume, length, which is a positional parameter, it's the first one, width equals 4 and height equals 5, return length times width times height. So if you do print cube volume 3, the cube volume function calculates the volume of a cube, which is its length, multiplied by its width, multiplied by its height. The length argument is the only positional parameter in the first position. So print cube volume 3 will return 60, 3 times 4 times 5. I'll uncomment print cube volume 8, comma, width equals 7. Running it produces the result 8 times 7 times 5, or 280 because 8 is the length. Width we override so 7 is used instead of the default of 4 and the height 5 is used so it's 7 times 8 times 5, 280. 
uncommenting print cube volume produces an error because the length argument, the positional parameter, is not specified. All positional parameters must be specified. That's my brief introduction to Python 3 functions. I hope this gets you started. Refer to the Python 3 documentation for additional information such as for local and global variable passing and functions. If you like this tutorial, please hit the YouTube subscribe button and discuss this tutorial at forum.iracrackout.com. Happy Python blendering!